Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to create your own chatbot, something like ChatGPT that you can send in prompt and it will respond to you. Now you can customize it. You can create your own based on your own business model. Okay, so whatever business you have, whatever idea you have, or whatever information you want to train it on, you can just upload the information. It can, it can accept documents like PDF, Excel sheets, documents like uh, Microsoft Word or direct text uh, independently. You can just copy text and paste it and you can train it on these different kind of documents and you can train it on particular website also that you have. So your customers can have 247, 365 days access to you and chat directly so they can just chat with you about your website or you can even add videos to the same chatbot and train on all of those okay so depending on what you have depending on what content you are creating depending on what business you want to promote you can train the chatbot just like the way you have chat gpt uh, focus or functions to answer questions so in this tutorial we're going to look at the basics how you can start from scratch create the name give your chatbot a name and then train it on some data and then you can have a, a questions answered directly so you can start start by coming up to fastbots.ai this is it fastbots.ai this is the website and it's going to bring you over here you can sign up for free or you can check the link in the description to just click up click on it and then it will bring you over here so you have the option to sign up with your um, username and password or your email and password or you can go ahead and sign up with your google account which is what i'm going to do in this tutorial now once you're here you have to see that this is the name create your new chatbot your new bot okay so you can enter the name of your boat for example my the name of my boat is dr rashid for example and then you can make it public at this point and you can always change this later so at this moment we want to keep it private so you can just click on let's go now you have your boat created. So the next thing is you, you now add some links or chart the documents, PDF, websites, sitemaps, Word document, Excel, CSV files, YouTube videos, uh, fresh deck, anything that you have just to train the model. Okay. So you can see here, I can copy some links about my website. For example, I can say, well, let's try the training on something simple like my resume. Let's upload my resume as a PDF document. So you can come to PDF document. Now you can insert the link to the URL or you can just directly upload it from your system. So let's say I'm going to upload it in my system. I have this, my CV, I can just upload it. So virtually what this means is you can come down here. You can see how many characters now you've added. You can hear that some chatbots have been trained on billions of characters yeah it it is like that it's a number of documents that have been uh, imputed into it different website different kind of things you just input them and based on those number of characters and what it is being trained for that's the kind of question that it's going to answer all right so right now i've uploaded my cv we can um, refresh this and you'll be able to see that it has indexed one thing one information all right and you can import anything you can upload a paper a research paper and you can train it on those papers and you can add ask any questions about those papers and it's going to respond to you perfectly so let's start with this simple cv now you can go over to overview this is link and then this is the chatbot right now you have a chatbot dr rashid with this link okay because it is uh, um, a private at this moment so you'll be able to see the stats and activity of your boat here you can see this is the training it's added about 30,000 characters of the 500,000 characters you have at this moment you can have links text and then this is the messages so far it has not sent any messages okay you can see how old is your boat you can be able to see it over here my boat is only two minutes old because i just created it every time you'll be able to see how much older is your boat and what you can do with it now this is the chart history now let's start since we have indexed something simple let's ask it something about my cv in this chatbot area so you can see hi how can i help you today now you can go over here and say when did Abdul Rashid attend Ahmadu Bello University. So you see this question is specific to the data to my CV that it is being trained on. So you can just hit on enter and you'll be surprised how much of the information it can pick. 
You can see very, very fast. He said, Abdul Rashid attended Ahmad Bell University, Zaria, Nigeria, for his education as follows Bachelor's of Engineering in Water Resources uh, from this date to this date in 2009. And then Master of Science in Water Resources and Environmental Engineering from this date to this date, that's perfect. And then PhD in Civil Engineering uh, from this date to this date. Unfortunately, I didn't attain my PhD in the same university on this. Okay, so that's a mistake. So you can see it is not perfect on that as well. All right, so let's see how many journal publications does the Rashid has? Okay, so you will be able to surprisingly to tell you how much. Okay, um, uh, Abrashid has a total of seven journal publications listed in their provided information. Yeah, so seven, but it's not seven, it's beyond seven. Uh, can you list about um, at least three journals uh, from him? Okay, so let's see, can you list at least three journals from him? And let's see so these are the journals it is picking the journals you can see surprisingly it picked about three journals from my cv and that is wonderful and this is very very interesting you can see you'll be able to see that this is wonderful you can train it based on any information or any data that you have so now let's look at chat history you'll be able to see your chat history and what and what has been going on uh, you can search directly and you can check out leads if you are interested but links you can see so far it's just my cv that we've just added if you want to add anything like you can add another thing let's say we can add another document um, let's say we add another document let's say we add a paper research paper okay so let's say we add this research paper even though it has about 3 million characters let's see if it will take it all right it's been indexed so let's see um, let's refresh this and see okay two things have been indexed so let's see let me ask something about this research paper um so let's go back to the overview and you can just go ahead and ask can you tell me about the journal paper major findings in the research paper okay can you tell me about the major findings research paper you know you see i'm directly it is telling you about the major findings comprehensive um does not specify detailed findings from any particular research paper okay um so this is referring to the paper that i have talked talked uh, just uh, talked about uh, you have to be very specific about which one that you want to talk about so let's go back and find some information about that particular paper that we've just added okay we can ask it based on the information you have can you give me the steps to carry out hydrological modeling okay it's based on that paper so let's see whether it's going to give us something related to that yeah so you can see based on that paper now it has ruled out and given us some steps um, to carry out uh, hydrological modeling based on the proper information the steps to carry out hydrological modeling using integrated uh, hydrological and hydraulic modeling approach are as follows this is directly from the paper that we've just uh, talked about i've just uh, added okay so you can see quite a number of things if you like you can add text directly um, uh, for the training you can copy texts from anywhere and just paste in if you don't want to add links or you don't want to add uh, PDF documents or papers or if you have any frequently asked questions that people do ask continuously you can just go ahead and add it directly here you can see you can add a question uh, who is Dr. Rashid and you can see um, let's see where is Dr. Rashid born in a village called Hunkui. okay so let's say we save this and when you go back to the chat board you've now added this as uh, part of the questions that you have so when you go back to the chat board you can ask it this same question and you'll be surprised how it's going to respond to you yeah the information provider does not specify the birthplace of uh, Rashid okay so let's say we we refresh this okay
Yeah, so you can see Dr. Abdul Rashid Said Abdul Rashid was born in a village called Hongui, Nigeria. Yeah, that's that's perfect. So you can see how fantastic you can be training your AI and you can come over here to tune it. You can see the models that it is using at the moment um, to do this uh, research. You can increase the creativity from here if you want to increase or you can add, add some AI instruction prompt if you want. You are a question answer bot so you can just give in the details of what you have. Now the appearance is where you customize the look of your chatbot. Right now you can give it a name, uh, title to be shown in the chat chat window, There's something like there. So let's say we want to add a Dr. R. For example so this is it dr r here and then you can put in the welcome message be, be earlier on you can see hi how can i help you today so you can say hi i am i am dr r and how can i help you today and how can i help you today okay so you can add this and anytime you you go to that you'll be able to see this as a message okay so you can see now right now you can have suggestions placeholders, uh, lead connections, you can add chatbot avatars if you have any, you can easily import all of them. So you can customize quite a number of things from here and add it to your chatbot while as you are creating it, you can see it directly over here. So once you come down, you click on save. After adding everything, you can refresh the page. Now when you go back to the overview, you'll be able to say, hi, I'm Dr. R and how can i help you today so this is the information or the welcome message that you're going to have and this is the title that you're going to see this is dr r okay so you can see you can embed or share things or share this chatbot with someone else you can copy this code and you can share it with people and once they click they'll be able to have access to this and then they can chat based on the information you also train your chatbot on so you now also have a mini chatbot to talk about Okay, so over here you can always come down to the settings at any given point. You can see enter a name for your boat, uh, mark it as public. If you want it to go public, you can just mark this as public and save, and it's going to go over to uh, public. And then you can have some other security things to do. Okay, so basically this is how to create your own chatbot, and you'll be able to see how old it is again, and then you have how many messages uh, so far, and then how many characters have you trained it uh, on this so far. So you can just go ahead, give it a try, and see how you can also start generating or creating your own chatbot to see how you can use it. And in some cases, you can be able to even link it up to other platforms, like um, you can you can come to uh, integrations over here and you can see you can connect it with your slack with your wordpress account your zapier or your whatsapp message or even messenger so that you can be able to chat 247 you can have questions answered and you don't have to always be replying or sending messages to people this chatbot can take care of quite a lot of things for you so this concludes this tutorial about how to create your own chatbot basically in a very simple way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.